Okay, big up to everybody. This is Hot 78 Radio. Right now we have Kumar, Kumar in a house in this interview in your show, Black Star Line. Yes, How's everything, my friend? How's everything in Jamaica? Everything good, brother. Give it More for life, man. Okay, uh, let's go start with the first question, my friend. How you started in the music? Yeah, brother. Well, you know, I used to play music from a long time, from back in the church, you know, growing up as a church kid. You know, we used to always be exposed to different instruments in the church. But after high school, I went to Monroe. Um, I went to Edna Manley College where I studied, you know, classical piano and other instruments. After school, I decided to join a band, Raging Fires. So I was the lead singer of Raging Fires for 10 years. Costa Rica know the vibes. Costa Rica know the massive. Yes. I've been there quite a few times to perform, in, you know? Quite yes, a yes. few times in Costa Rica. Yes, we, we know Raging about Fire. that. Yes, we know about that. Which artists or bands, when you was young, it was your yeah, influence? Man. So you don't know. We've been to Costa Rica sometimes. Okay. Yes, so, the next. So recently, no, right now, I mean, since I left Raging Fire, I, I left Raging Fire, and I'm doing my own solo project at the moment. So. You know, I have a brand new album just released entitled Culture Walk, which is doing really well, you know, all around the world. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> can you can you tell us uh, about uh, which which artists did you hear when you when you was young? Yeah, well, when I was young, I listened to a lot of um, Peter Tosh and Black Hero, you know. In, in my earlier days growing up and Bob Marley for sure, you know, and Abyssinians really and truly we listen to most of the root track in reggae, but I was also exposed to Metallica and Led Zeppelin and a lot of rock and roll music. So you find that from church to reggae to rock and roll, yeah man. <laughs> All right, that's good my friend. Uh, the other question yes, the other question is uh about about Raging Fire in in twenty eleven You, uh, uh, the Raging Fire released the album Just Min Deng. In the same year, the the band yes, went went for a concert, a uh, European tour, in a big in a big reggae festivals like Rototom, like Sun Splash. Yes. Yeah, how was the, the experience in that first in in that touring in in Europe? How was the vibe there, my friend? Yeah, well, 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 it was a great experience, and I keep looking back at my journal that I wrote in years ago about the experience, and I can remember writing that you know it was the first day of the rest of my life, you know, traveling, you know, to to, to the ends of the earth playing root track in reggae music, you know, it really did something for me, gave me the confidence as well, and you know, when we released that first album, you know, I was very happy that you know I finally wrote some songs that you know the world would be able to listen to so that album led to the second album third album and i think you know there's a lot of hit songs off those records in costa rica you know a lot of people love dash water jack glory judgment dear music isn't bias like i could name a, a, a whole heap of songs from the catalog that have been major hits over there and you know we love the vibes man <laughs> yes right here we have this This jingle, thanks a lot for the jingle. On Judgment Day, I'll be playing music for yeah, the rebels, yes. Roots, yes, rock, I... reggae music, playing sweet in heaven. This is Kumar, the original fire, representing Hot 70. Yes, I, yes, I. yes, Jack. <laughs> yes, I love this song. My brother, it was like crazy with, it, with this jingle. <laughs> Big, big, big chung, my friend. Yes, okay, let's go with the other question because you told me you don't have enough time. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you know it, bro. We're always on the move. Okay, who was the spearing record record album in Tough Gun Records, the legendary studios, Tough Gun Records? Yeah, what I mean. 
I mean, you know, it was a great experience in working in the same environment as Bob Marley and even the, the Marleys in general. So we really, you know, decided to get the best sounds for drums there, you know, and get some... Because at the time when we worked there, there was a, a mixing board there. There was the console in the studio was really, 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 really old school and really had the warmth of the sound that we wanted. So, I mean, it was always good, you know, recording. You know, a tough gun. And it's a legendary place. And they're recording a lot more music. You know, a tough gun and, and touch recordings as well. Okay, the next um, question. Uh, you were a uh, tour in United States. Uh, who was the, the yeah. vibe in, in there in United States, my friend? Tell us about well, it. I mean, we, did, we, did, we did a lot of touring with uh, um, Revolution, Stick Figure, all those American reggae bands. You know, so that was a, that, that was a, um, a, 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 a a wonderful you know experience to have, you know touring that side in the US and I mean we got a nomination for the best reggae album by by touring the US you know so yes it was I, I a really good vibe yes you, it was a sec second place right yeah Set up again brother Yeah, okay, okay, let's let's go with it because I am alone in here. I have to check the cameras yeah, and yeah, everything, yeah. but it's okay. We are recording, recording the this interview to Komar Faya from Raging Faya, Hot 78 original. Radio, <laughs> original, original. Okay, uh, my friend, the next, the next, the next, uh, the next question is about you in in. You left the raging fire. Tell us about the that change in your in your music career. Yeah, well, I mean, it was a big change, massive change for me. And being a part of a band is totally different from being a solo artist, you know. But the time had come for me to part ways with raging fire. You know, we did three albums, got a nomination. We did so much work together as a team. But you know, I needed to find out who Kumar was. You know, I needed to find myself and make more music that appealed to how I feel about the injustices in this world. And I think, you know, Region Fire did did the work that it came to do. You know, we opened a lot of doors for a lot of other artists, you know, and we really push hard. And I wish them all the best, you know, that I've left the band and I'm doing solo. I still perform all my songs from Region Fire, all the tracks from all three albums. So I still get calls. People still book me as Kumar to come and perform with my new band. So, you know, that part of it has been cool. The dub plates, I still do jingles and whatever, so I can push Raging Fire music just the same. But I have a new album that I released, you know, a brand new album, Culture Walk, that's really taking the world by storm. You know, so that has really given me a lot more hope since leaving the band to actually keep making solid music, you know? Okay, talking about the perform, the live perform, who was the, the spirit or vibe the last weekend at the reggae jam it was a virtual concert who was the experience kind of new in this yeah, man. In this I mean, life I mean, it, it was new doing doing something online online is kind of new but i realized that you know i was very blessed because when i'm looking at the numbers from this event over the weekend i realized i have almost 30,000 views on my little video on world of reggae And a lot of artists were on the show, so I'm very pleased to realize that my video is actually the highest video there. So people were watching, and I think it speaks a lot to, you know, the work that I did all these years, 10 years, you know, in the business and touring globally. I think I have a, a solid fan base, you know, Indonesian fans, Mauritius fans, European, American, African. It's really coming together, you know, and I think this new album, Culture Walk, will definitely appeal to, you know, my fan base. So it's been good. Big up Reggae Jam and Uppsala and Dwayne Stevenson who made the phone call to have me there, you know. But I mean, it was a lovely vibe. I've played Uppsala twice in Europe and I've done Reggae Jam about four or five times already as a, a musician, you know. So it's been great, you know, supporting the cars this year and ensuring that next year we still have a market to enter into Europe, you know. Or whenever it opens up, we can still go. Yeah. Okay, my friend, let's pass to the next question. Tell us about this song. Yeah. 
in your stereo. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yo, this is the message. Yeah, man. So this track, so this track, this track I recorded almost two years ago. I left your agent. July and I recorded this song around October, November in Europe with my very good friends, Naja Vibes from Fruits Records. You oh. know, and they had a few tracks in studio working and then I was there and they were like, Come on, do you like this track? And I immediately I started singing about the message in the radio. You know, and how hard it is when you cry and nothing happens for you. So this song was done and released this year though. It was released this year on vinyl as well you know in europe so big up naja vibes for the great works and you know helping me to push my career in that regard we have some tough tough solid more works coming out in the next year you know in a form of a project so the, the works are happening yes sir okay the message in your radio the best radio in costa rica hot 78 radio <laughs> the burning hot fire radio <laughs> yeah the, bur the burning fire radio in costa rica hot 78 this is yeah. kabaka pyramid from kingston jamaica Representing yes, at 78 Radio Worldwide World, you yeah, man, them for no Hot 78 so, Radio. I'm representing for Radio 78 Hot Online. Okay, my friend, let's talk about the the next the next track. Is this one? I love this track also. Yes, man. Okay, a good message for the people, right? About this song, my friend. Yeah, come on, my brother Julian from Canada. You know, I read him wise. Okay, uh, let's let's talk about your 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 last album culture walk culture culture walk is the the, the yes. name who was the everything about this album recording uh -huh. this album my friend yeah well i mean you know i invested a lot in this album i did a lot of traveling went to indonesia mauritius and italy parts of europe you know, recording, trying to get the best sound for my album. And, you know, it was just my, it's my first solo album. So I think it was by experimentation, an artist, you know, coming on. And I had to make some music that I felt. And then, you know, fans follow me, you know. But yeah, brand new album available everywhere, Culture One. Okay, let's talk about your, uh, your last video. The video clip "Remember Me" this is the song. I gonna put it. Yes, sir. It's it, the song. I like that yeah, man, intro. There's a big bad remix coming soon, you know. True. Yeah. yeah. Yemen give thanks, Pura Vida, Rasta Rica. Yeah, Hot 78 Radio. Yeah, Costa Rica, number one. Yeah, Kumar Fire in the house. I love this song because uh, I love hip hop music. I love the, the you know, the the feeling, the, the, the beat. The beat, I love Then you're going to love the remix. I'm not giving away the remix as yet, but you're going to love the remix. There's a terrible remix with a new artist, with an artist on the remix that oh, a lot really? of people love. It's gonna be dope, 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 dope remix. Yeah, you have, you have to, you have to send it, my friend, <laughs> because I love. Yes, man. We will I send love, soon. I love reggae. We're shooting a video for it, Charles, so we can release it together. Okay, okay, my friend, that's good. Don't forget to to send him, and we we will play in Hot 78 Radio, of course, like like all your music, my friend. We love your music and music of of, of yeah. raging raging fire. 
Uh, do you do you yes, remember sir. the the last time when you come to Costa Rica with this with this man? This is Kabaka Pyramid from Kingston, Jamaica. And also, yes, you, man. you came with Janai. We 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 had an interview with Janai. Good vibes with Janai. Yes, also, because well, we came we came to Costa Rica almost seven years ago. Like Raging Fire, Janai, Proto J, Kabaka, Chronic, Sierra Lugo, Midnight. There was like seven or eight of us. Yeah, you know, doing that show. <laughs> the looks, the looks line up, <laughs> really. Yeah, who was yeah, the experience? On. What do you think about the people in, in here in Costa Rica about the the I love culture? Costa Rica. I love Costa Rica. It's one of my most favorite places. You know, I have a lot of friends there still. You know, DJ Jaren and Quendo and Chris and all of these people in Costa Rica. I know a lot of them. You know, Ernesto. Like I met a few people over the years and Jay and. You know, people from Tuyalba, I met people over on the east and the west. I mean, I, I really enjoyed Costa Rica, you know, so I'll be back soon. soon yeah, you soon, have soon. you have to come to Capo to have to come soon here to Costa Rica. You are invited here to to this temple of music, vinyls, hip hop music, reggae, reggae roots music, and everything yeah, in here. Yes, I need to get there soon. Man. I need yeah. to get there man and tell us about the this change of of your music because you You used to play in Raging Fire more music like Foundation. How how you feel right now with the, with with this kind of reggae music? Yeah. Yeah, because the music the music has to evolve. The music has to change. Yes. Music has to reflect the times. And as an artist, I have to reflect the times. I cannot make music that was been made 1970 and 1980. Like that era period is gone. I could improve on it. You know, and create something that's a little bit more, you know, fresh for my time, but still roots rocking. So, I mean, as Raging Fire, we had a vision when we were coming in. We wanted to create roots reggae music, which we did on the first album. But if you listen to the second album, it changed a bit. And the third album, it changed even more. You know? So, I think we were straying too from just roots music. We were trying to incorporate just music. You know, because I know I'm a, I'm a great roots rock reggae singer songwriter, but I don't think the fans realize how much of a musician I am or how much of an artist I am. You know, I could make any kind of music I want, but I choose to make positive music on whatever beat. You know, but I have a lot more roots coming. You know, I promised the fans some a roots project. You know, that's on its way that they could say, yeah, I'd come out to them catalog. You know. Okay, my friend. Uh, I know you are. Yes, sir, yeah. You are busy. Uh, We're going, to, we're going to you share some sing in a cappella for the audience of Hot 78 Radio, my friend. Whatever you want, just a little bit. <laughs> yes, sir. Before I be a slave, I'd be buried in my grave. Oh, ja, ja. do remember me. Yes, before I be a slave, I'd be buried in my grave at 78. Do remember me, do remember me. Poor Avida, the youth, them nowadays now, all the other. Now for them still I try cross the border. No want to blame, can't point your finger when it is them. But Costa Rica, Mr. Grow, what you eat, youth. That I said with the data, he must speak truth. From the other day, everything blend up with the beach root. Straight greens, man, I shuffle for me feel good. <laughs> At 78, give thanks. Yes, yes, yes my Georgia. friend. The last words for the people who's listening out this interview. We 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 play music for the audience in Europe. Central America, everywhere. Good, uh, if you can tell us all, uh, uh, to the audience some good yeah, words, Martin. my friend. Just big up, just big up. Stay positive, stay safe, you know. 
I mean, there's no opponent, you know, the only opponent in life is the choices you make, you know, and the decisions. So just stay positive, you know, and just remain formless, just like water, so you can move through and be free. Costa Rica Massive will soon come. You'll be seeing me shortly, whether for just, you know, some studio work or interviews or some performances. So big up everybody on in Costa Rica. Okay, it was Kumar de Regin Falla. Esto fue la entrevista con Kumar de Regin Falla. Gracias a toda la gente. Seguimos con más música de Regin Falla. Big up, my friend. Thanks a lot to join to Hot 78 Radio. Bless have up. A, Bless up. Have a good day, my friend. Bless All up. Right. Bless. Bless up, Dada. Said that no, I already keep the smoke and the ganja burning yeah, around non stop in a play music. If you run from your city, I love this is the Colonel Jimmy. I said, Pull up the music, play the good music and the good culture for all the black people. Praise is John, hey, the Emperor, King of Kings, DJ Alarcon. representing for Black Star Line music. It's Black Star Line reggae. Hot seven hit and earn from hey. myself. You will lose. Oh, if I run from myself, I will lose. Yeah, man, give thanks. Pura Vida, Rasta Rica. Yeah, Hot 78 Radio. Yeah, Costa Rica, number one.